Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are on a 17 streak, feeling very, very good. And we're going to randomise and get tainted Andromeda. Ooh boy. Today is going to be a spicy one. Oh lord. Tainted Andromeda is always a character that I'm fearful to get on a good streak. Not because he's bad, just because he's very different <laughs> it makes him it it makes him quite difficult to do really well with but at the same time i do think he's got potential to be a very very strong character and have some really really op runs it's just this sort of situation here where it's a little bit suboptimal and tough to actually um to actually grab uh sorry not grab so uh hit the enemies you want to hit but I got a really good suggestion for a comment of the day, for a question of the day, from a comment, sorry. And it was, if you could have one Isaac item in real life, and why, what would it be, and what would it do? Like, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by this. Also, is her shot speed down good? Because you start with really high sh shot speed as this character. I don't know if you need... Oh, God, I got hit twice there. I don't know if you need really high shot speed as this character, or if having really high shot speed is a bad thing. I, I don't know. But yeah, I thought that was a really interesting question, because there's obviously a bunch of, like, really obvious answers, like flight. It'd be awesome to have flight. Or lunch, just to have some lunch. <laughs> there's some really obvious answers, but it'd be really cool to see what you guys think. That was a really interesting question. By the way, that is a, that is something that I'm more than open to. It is difficult to think of these questions sometimes. So if you guys have something that you think um, it'd be interesting to ask the rest of the comment section. And of course, I normally try to answer it as well. So if it's something that you think could be uh, interesting to ask, then just ask me. And I will ask it in an episode of course, do remember the there is a reasonably sizable backlog, which means that I may not get to it for a week or two, uh, depending on the current size of said backlog. But you just kind of have to see. Like for this one, I think I've got like a nine day backlog right now. I, my backlog's a little weak right now. Normally, I try to keep it over two weeks, which is I know excessive, but I like to have leeway. But because I got COVID, I got ill and uh, used up a lot of my backlog. But that is exactly the reason I have the backlog, because the entire time I was ill, I had videos for the entire week. I didn't have to take a single day off. You guys still got your content, and none of you are none the wiser that I even had COVID. It's great. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, where the fuck did that item go? Then I realised that's what this character does, right? Um, We can get our secret room item going if we uh, find the secret room here. I'm relatively certain... It's there, although I should really check that. I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, good, good. We can get a guaranteed secret room item here. Also, some nice consumables. And we get the urn of one. Uh, kills by, uh, charged up by killing monsters, grants the effect of a random pill and a random card and spawns from pig. But actually, that's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we have one active that's going to... Um, give us items by picking up consumables another item that's going to give us consumables by getting kills <laughs> kind of a weird one i am going to go down this path here this is probably quite risky also new backdrop there looking very swanky uh this is probably gonna be a somewhat bad idea also we've got our planetarium already let's go um just because the alt floors now have new champions from one of the mods i'm using but i specifically went to the alt path to see the new champions because I think they're cool. <laughs> Even though they're likely to kill me because I don't know what they do. Um, this is a rather tricky room here that we're likely to get hit on. Yeah, there you go. Rather tricky room. Lots of water spouts is not helpful because it, in <laughs> it introduces more lag. But also just a generally hard room anyways. I really hope we get a key here, by the way. If we don't get a key, I'm going to be sad. Also, by the way, if we if we lose our streak on this run, I'm I'm not gonna sweat it. I'd I'd like to keep my streak going, but this character is a character that I am not good at at all. Um, and I've I've only played a few times also. So if we use space bar now, intriguing. Probably better to use that in rooms with enemies, right? I don't know. Yeah, I really hope we get a key here because I'd love to take advantage of the planetarium there, of course. I don't know if we'll get the chance, I'll be honest, but 
It just feels like one of these runs where I'm not going to get the key I want. I don't know. I just, feel, I just I can just feel it coming. Uh, I think I'm going to pop, uh, what's it called, straight away. Ooh, Dumpy's here. A little scary. Everything right now is a little scary. God damn, I'll be honest. It really is. Especially the Dumpy. No. Go away, Dumpy. Stop picking up your damn buckets. Little bucket, baby. Okay. Oh, I might, yeah, I'm going to say I might use my active just... Uh, singularity, sorry, just randomly in a random room before Planetarium. Although, I suppose I could get two uses out of the Planetarium. But so far, it's looking like... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Um... Oh, this is depressing. I'm just going to use it. Filling gaps, cool. Good enough. Are you a wizard? Don't think that affects us. Oh, it, it actually does. Okay. Yeah, I told you we weren't going to get a key this floor. I just knew it. It just felt too convenient for the game to not give me one right now. Far too convenient. Also, our stomps here are pretty darn useful. We're able to actually stomp out these gaps here and uh, make them into actual walkable terrain. As well as actually um, pushing away the boss, which is rather convenient for us right now. Because I do not like him near us. Okay, so for the most part, we should be absolutely fine with him creating his pits here. I don't think it'll bother us all too much. Just give us a latch key, please. I, I need the HP as well, so a latch key would actually do me just right. Yeah, the stomps are actually really good. I'm, I'm very glad I got that item. Oh, of course, it's not going to give us a latch key, is it? Because oh, this is depressing. Depressing. Right, I've got one last chance here. I guarantee it doesn't work, but I could open this. Do you know what? Found Soul is pretty amazing. I'm not going to be too displeased about that. Oh, wait. No, he's not. Okay, he doesn't fire how I thought he would. He's not great. Um. Yeah. This is a big bummer. And I'm pretty sure once we've got a planetarium, we can't get another one, right? We don't even have any bombs to work with. Let's just pop that. We got a pill. Speed down. Just all sorts of greats going on right now, isn't it? All sorts of great. Ugh, this is depressing. Right, so health isn't looking all too good. Um, we can't pick up that, can we? No. Yeah, health isn't looking all too good. Uh, miss out on a planetarium straight away, which is muy bien, very spicy. Really like that game, thank you. Um, so maybe, I gotta say, maybe I can use the Lost Soul as a little bit of a, a way around some of this. Got a cracked key there. I'm gonna speed up. Cracked key. I'm just gonna pop it. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, ooh, lookup's nice here. We can pop that to get Monstro's Tooth. Are you kidding me with the Monstro's Tooth pickup? No, thank you. No, thank you. We can also get in here. Which, oh no, we should be able to get in here anyways, doesn't matter. Um, I'll come back to you. Check what we get in here. Oh yeah, nothing. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> my simple, feeble brain. I realise it's not a great idea to use pills in the actual fight, but I made the executive decision to do so. We got to speed up. Nice. I, I'm going to die, like, almost certainly very soon. So it's not it's not great. I'd rather not, but it, I can feel it coming. This is only one of the two bosses that we have to fight in here, too. So why... Wait, why was this room chests and not... I'm confused. Why was the chests in here? Stop hitting me. <laughs> stop, I said stop hitting me. No, don't carry on. Yeah, we're definitely dead. I'll do another run as this character, though. Just, just, just min-min. Min-min. Just give me a min-min to sort myself out. Because at the minute, I don't have time for you or any of your shit. I really like this urn of one, I gotta say. It's real good. Um, So, we could spawn a red item in here. And we get knockout drops, which I feel are going to be really, really inconvenient for us, right? Having the ability to have enemies get knocked around. Also, Vasculitis is doing doing some work right now. I like it. 
I like it. Yeah, uh, with that current HP game, I'd say that we're in a pretty bad spot. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, if we utilize the white fire, a little bit of smart here. Now, I have a holy mantle. <laughs> so technically, I now have more HP than I had before. If you're on one HP on this floor, remember, you can get yourself a free holy mantle. You do have to keep going back to get it every time you complete a combat room. you got to remember that. Can, can, can I just hit him? <laughs> I just, just want to hit him. Thank you. Yeah, you do have to keep going back to get it, because if we walk into this next room... Yeah, there you go. I'm back to normal now. Uh, which is a little bit problematic, but honestly, right now, do you know what? I'm even going to risk it. I'm going to go in here and get some trinkets that I don't care about. Nice. Um, yeah, like, I think it's, I think it's worth it. Nice. Okay. We've got really good money and stuff now. I can't remember how the shop works as this guy. I genuinely can't. I don't, I can't remember how a lot of things work as this guy. I haven't played as him in a little while. I am really, really liking the Urn of Want. I really, really hope we don't die because I want to continue using the Urn of Want because it's very cool. But, oh, I forgot. What the? What the hell was that? Anyways, that's, I, I knew we were going to die. That was, that, that was pretty much a guarantee. Basically, as soon as we didn't get that planetarium, we knew, we knew we had bad luck. As soon as we didn't get that planetarium, it was basically game over for our run. Oh, I, fuck, I walked into the fire. Can I just catch up break, please? Okay. We got a mini Isaac. At least he's chilling. So, you watch us this time not get a bomb, so I can't get into my secret room. This game's going to be real cruel to me. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. I don't know what it is, but... I feel today's the day of cruelty for, for our run. I mean, we've already lost our streak of 17, which is pretty sad. But there's like four or five different characters. Maybe, maybe not four or five. There's like two or three characters where if I get them... Oh, no, we got a bomb. If I get them, I'm almost guaranteed to lose the streak. Obviously, Tainted Lost is a big one. Tainted Jacob, not so much anymore, but he's still, still a pretty difficult one to guarantee a win on. Um... So yeah, they're, they're, them ones are a bit unfortunate to see, but that is why we do the random streaks. I'm not going to complain about us randomizing a character because I like randomizing the characters. Can I not get hit so un unbelievably much? God damn it, I'm just getting hit like crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know what, what items I'm really hoping for. Secret room item, Air of Want was incredible. Anything that's going to give us more consumables, uh, or pickups, should I say, is going to be real good. Um, so, I'm hoping we get something similar like that. I mean, a sack head or something would be pretty good, I think. I think we can get that from the secret room, right? Um, yeah, I don't really care about that. Secret room here is a little fishy. It seems like it's here. Do you know what? Let's just quickly destroy these fires before things go awry. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it's here, so I'm going to try that out. I'm, I'm very lucky that it was. We did indeed get some sacks as well. Empros. Ooh, there you go. Reveal the ultra secret room. 33% chance to spawn a crack key upon using a sacrifice room. Also spawns a crack key on pickup. Awesome. Right. So let's go and get our first... Wait. This is useless. <laughs> I was like, ooh... Let's go get our, our red room. Red room's worth spawn items. We just found that out. We just found that out. Idiota. Also, I need to remember not to pick stuff up when I'm overcharged, because I could have probably got an extra secret room item out of this floor. Got to remember, though, we can only use secret room item once. I mean, technically, we can try for twice. Okay, so this time we've got a planetarium, and this time we've actually got keys to open it, so... Happier days for us. Happier days for us. A booster pack here. Spawns an old chest. A zealot heart. It was. It was. Why not? Uh, right. 
Can I then go in here and pop this? Jets of fire emit from you every 10 seconds, dealing your damage plus 10 and burning enemies. The more enemies in the room, the more frequent the flames come out. Cool. I reckon that'll be pretty good for us. I probably should have left the uh, the zealot heart for a little later. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is... Having fire emit from our body, uh, personally, is going to help a lot, I think. Um, because now we have a way of getting out of a sticky situation if enemies get really up close and personal. And it's um, influenced by the amount of enemies that are in the room. So, if things are really hairy, it's more likely to save us, which is very nice. Okay, yeah, I like this a lot. This is very, very good. Like that look. And then these guys are getting wrecked as well. Quickly check that. I'm trying to keep the Zealot Heart alive. I doubt we'll end up keeping it to the next floor, but I've got to try. And the thing is, as well, do you just notice that? It reaches the entire room. Like, it goes across the entire room. So we have a pretty wide reach on this thing. Of course, we can try and get ourselves red items using the red rooms. I don't know how valuable that is, I'll be honest. trying to hit this guy, but it's really not going well. Okay, so let's let's just use this on this floor. Get a horrible, horrible room full of annoying enemies. Oh god, there's another one. And just check in here, because the thing is, it could drop other stuff, and it did. That's rather nice. But then when we get a charge, I think we'll pop it in there and just see what we end up getting. So, one thing that's kind of intriguing here is, for one, we can get into our shop for free, which is rather nice. I, yeah, I was just about to say, I don't remember how the shop works. I'm pretty sure there's no donation machines, just because you could bomb them for easy pennies. I might be wrong about that. We're only one pip off of um, being able to proc our singularity, though, which is intriguing. Okay, we got a lot of dumpies here. Oh, fuck off. I, I'm I'm genuinely like this close to uninstalling dumpies. I, like, I think they're cute. I think they're an interesting enemy, but the person like, no offense to the person that created it, by the way. I'm not trying to say that they're a bad developer or anything, but ooh, one, one of the champion versions of this boss. Um, One of the prob like major problems, I've mentioned it so many times before, you probably already know what I'm going to say, but like, just because they can push you onto spikes, it doesn't mean that every single room they appear in has to have spikes. And also, like, I feel like a room like that, it's so difficult to not get pushed into spikes. And the spikes deal full heart damage too. Like, it's not even like half a heart. I'm, I'm now, like, completely fucked. Also, interesting champion version. Seems a little easier than the regular version. I say that and then I die. Apparently, Bloach Room killed me again. Which it definitely didn't, but... Oh, this is... Just one of those episodes, isn't it, people? It's just one of those episodes. God damn. We try... The game crashed. Oh my lord. The game crashed. Right, let's try that again. See if this guy's gonna crash us again this time. If he does, then we can't kill him, but... We shall try. It didn't this time, good. Unfortunately, a lover's card is useless to us. Bit of a shame. This has been an absolute trial of an episode. Okay, well, at least we got one pip out of that. At least we got one pip. Okay, I'll try... Rooms like this, look at that. I, I literally can't even hit this guy. Oh my god. Some angles just don't work. It's okay, we're getting through it. I'm, I'm a little frustrated that I keep dying, but this character is unusually difficult if you don't get good stuff early on. And we barely had some good stuff, but I've been taking some bad damage. I'll admit, I haven't actually played Isaac in a little, in a, like a hot minute. I've um, I've been playing uh, the, uh, the new Borderlands games, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, because it is genuinely, absolutely fantastic. I, ha I love Borderlands, I've played all the games, and I had very high expectations going in, and it far exceeded my expectations. It is just a genuinely fantastic game. Like, it's very rare that I get hyped for a game and it, and it lives up to expectations, never mind exceeds them, and this one has most definitely exceeded the expectations I had. It is incredibly good. 
Okay, so where do we want to use our charge here? Because we can't get into a, a secret room this time around. No secret rooms for us. I'm just going to pop this because it's going to give us a charge. So why not? I would like to pop it in my secret room, but yeah, I just don't have the opportunity. Uh, so I'm not really sure. God, this is a boss that sucks so hard with this guy. I'm going to try and kill the little dude first just because he's going to be a right pain otherwise. Yeah, there you go. This guy's still kind of a pain, nonetheless, but he's a lot less of a pain than the little dude. The little dude charging us at full speed. No, thank you. Um, I'm going to try out the shop. Just because there's a lot of shop items like Humbling Bundle that could help us out a ton. So I'm, I'm going to try out the shop. And we got... Do you know what? Tear Detonator I actually think could be pretty good. We also got a Soul Heart, which is just unbelievably good for us. Yeah, I actually think that Tear Detonator could be a very interesting one for us. Because our tears stay on screen for a reasonably long amount of time. Therefore, we can pile a good few up and then pop it. We've got a planetarium here. Wait, is the door already open? What the hell? I'm going to leave that for now. I don't know why the door's already open. Was the door already open on the other one? I just didn't notice because that's going to be real sad if that's the case. What the hell's going on in this room? No. No. I can't escape. I don't have enough speed. What is this? Oh, that's horrible. I, I can barely escape that. Yes. Okay. Tear detonator's got some intrigue to it. Okay, we've got grates on the floor now as well. This is pretty cool. Yes. Tear detonator. I didn't even consider this as like a good item and uh, for this character. And look at it now. You get a good amount of tears on screen. This thing goes off. Yeah, this is something I do not like to see. Look at that. Beautiful. If we can get some range up so they stay in the uh, air for a little longer, it's going to be great. Can you... Dude, with the with the explosions, can you, like, really just calm down, please? Thank you. God damn, that dude did not want to let it go, did he? I do not like where I am situated right now. These huge rooms also make it very complicated sometimes to kill the enemies, especially when it's ones that, like, camp at the edge of the room. Luckily, the range lets us still get them, but it becomes complicated, definitely. Like, I'm just doing that and hoping for the best, honestly. At least we can use Tear Detonator multiple times of room as well now. That's really nice. Okay, so... We might as well fight the boss right now. Hey, we got Champion Blood again. I love the fact that there's champions for these now. Excuse me. I used Tear Detonator and it did nothing. It literally deleted my tears off of the screen and replaced it with no additional tears. Blasphemy. I don't know why that happened, but I'm not happy about it. What? Excuse me, why can't I use Tear Detonator in the boss fight? Ah, oh, be, it'll be like part of one of the anti-lag mods that I have. There's a mod that like, makes it so that there can't be a certain amount of entities on screen at once, otherwise it removes them. Apparently Tear Detonator is, is too much processing power. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I don't know, I need to find a balance with that mod, because that's not okay. I want to be able to use Tear Detonator. <laughs> I think it's because of the rain droplet thing. Also, this boss is taking ever to kill. I really, really, really think this character should start with quite a bit more damage than they currently have. Yeah, I just can't use it at all. Ah, oh, slow going. Very slow going. Oh, it's a hard time. But, loving this champion version. Interesting. No jumping. Just, uh, just that attack. Pretty cool. I don't know how I've not been hit yet, by the way. Okay. I say that and immediately get hit. Because there's like 16,000 pond skaters on the screen. Calm it. I can't even with this. Fuck me. 
Yeah, it seems that what the, this like water spout thing is taking up my entity limit. It's not letting me use tear detonator. Ah, oh, just die. Small enemies are the, just the worst. Devil deal, I'm sorry, but I do not care about you. Let's head back. Okay. Having a somewhat hard time today, but it is what it is. I'm not sure how to feel about these grates, by the way. I, re I really know how I feel about this room. This room's some heckin' BS. Yeah, it... Excuse me, it was open before, and now it's not. I feel betrayed. Did I just break tier detonator in general? Is it just completely broken now? Cell heart, thank you. No, it's not. It still works. I don't know where the where its upper limit is exactly. I'm not going to get a key again, am I? Oh boy. This game is... Having its way with me today. No key. No fun for the turtle melon. Oh, this room. The pain. The agony. That is walking through that singular room. Right, the, where the hell's our secret room then? Because I want to get something out of this. It could be... It could be here. Oh, thank God. That was a bit of a gamble, that was. Keeper's sack is pretty good for us. It's not amazing. Oh, it gives us a key, though. Hell yes. Okay. It's actually the best item to have ever existed. Although we ha are going to have to go through this room once again. If I enter the room and go straight up, it ain't so bad. Pluto. Okay, this is pretty good. A tears up is nice, and the shrinkage is going to help us. I like the shrinkage. I do find it funny that I am now just about as big as my mini Isaac. So me and him are uh, on a little adventure together. But yeah, tears up is, is very good. Let's see if we can keep this trainer going. If I die again, it's going to have to be the end of the episode, though, because we, we running, we're we running pretty long here. Why is the devil deal here but shut? I've never seen that before. <laughs> there are some pe peculiar things going on today. Peculiar things indeed. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm getting a little lost, though. Cause my, there you go. Like I said, because my mini Isaac's confusing the hell out of me, but he is... He has perished now, so not quite as confusing. Nice. I really like tier detonator here. It's, it's very, very nice. It's a little hard to actually utilize it, especially in bigger rooms. But when you can get it to, to hit, oh boy, it's chunky. Oh boy, is it chunky. I don't... These guys are at a weird angle. I don't know how to hit them best. Okay, that was nice. Okay, got him. Ooh, a pill. I will take. Yes! Could this be the run of our dreams? I definitely need more range so that they don't disappear quite so quickly. I didn't get hit. I don't know how. My hitbox is too small for you. That was a bad bomb, but nevertheless. My hitbox is too damn small for you. So heck off. Okay, we got a charge. I don't really know where I want to use it. I'm just going to use it here. Oh, we got SMB super fan. Okay. Things are going reasonably well here. I'm going to pop into the shop and try and take advantage of Keeper's sack here. Or not. Okay, so the donation machines are there sometimes. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what happened earlier then. Okay, um, I would like to go to the alt path. Looks like that's not going to be an option that's given to us though. But yeah, all stats up is uh, made me happy. Also, our tiers have become a strange color, and I like that. Yeah, we have we have a very fast tier right now compared to the, our default. Oh my lord, these fat bats are quite problematic. Extra penny. 
Not you. Oh, the, just the angle doesn't quite work. That's the saddest thing about this character, when you, like, just can't get the angle right. But then when you do it, it's quite satisfying, so I'll, I'll give it that at least. Ah! The pain. And a mega troll bomb to spawn on top of me. This game is, is really try. It's really out. What the fuck is this room? Oh. I did not see that red button underneath that for a second there. I was very scared. Honestly, the Pluto, like the small size thing, is, is saving my bacon. I can't get the small ones. I can't hit them. Ah. When I hit them, they die pretty quick, but they're very hard to hit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I got Curse of the Mazed into the boss fight. What the hell? It's Sig Monstro. Double Sig Monstro. Ow. Ow. God damn. I, I can't tell if I'm just playing really bad because I'm a little out of sorts or what, but this is quite the display. Quite the display indeed. I've got one of them down now. Good, good. I don't know what I really need here. There's, like, a tear effect could really take us quite far, I think. I think a tear effect is something we've, we've been kind of missing here. Because we're, we're like, fire rate is good now. Damage is, with the fire rate we have, is pretty okay. Oopsie. Quasar. Well. Oh, that's just, that's just upsetting to see, really, isn't it? I'm going to try it out. I'm going to carry it. Ooh, this gave us enough for another proc as well. Nun's habit isn't the best. Um, but we're not... The thing is, we don't get many item pedestals. So, I don't see this being all that useful. But, it does mean that if we get an active item from Singularity, it's easy to recycle. Now, I do realise tier detonate was probably better for us. But, my, my, think, my, my sort of thoughts process here is... That maybe, uh, also, I don't really know why I'm staying on this floor, to be honest. Uh, my thought process at the minute is kind of like, maybe, oh, you really had to lob the penny to the other side of, okay, you picked it up at least for me, thank you. Um, it's kind of sort of lying in, if we get a, a wisp from Quasar, that's like a really good item that could carry us quite far. Whereas the tier detonator seems to have a limited usefulness, despite it being pretty good, until we got like a pretty decent infusion of range, it wasn't really gonna do all that much for us, I don't think. Right. Some extra money there, nice. And yeah, it's like Quasar's kind of weird because we don't get that many pedestals, so it's not gonna be all that usable or at least going to be usable that often. But I feel like when it is, it, it's going to be quite high impact. I don't know. It's, it's maybe a weird choice. It's also another, like, it's a quality four item, and I don't just want to leave it. <laughs> I don't just want to have to leave it behind. What I wanted to do is blow up the angel statue and also suck up the, the, the key piece as well, but I didn't have any bombs. That would have been pretty useful. Health is still in a pretty bad way. We're also not getting very many consumables either. Ooh, room with these things could be tricky. These enemies are interesting, but they are difficult. Okay. A tier rate really is what's saved us right now. At the minute, we are really cursing on the fact that we have good tier rate. Also, what the hell was that? I think Book of Jubilees paid out. I don't know what with. I heard the little, the little holy noise, but... I don't actually know what um, what we got out of the payout. Okay, so there's only one of them that isn't a brimstone guy, and that's the guy in the top left. So he's the guy we have to worry about least. Good. We can suck this towards us. Nice. We are definitely taking damage here. Although... Oh, I don't even know how I did that. That was pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. But at the minute, we're just kind of relying solely on the boss to charge up our active because we're never getting enough consumables to charge it up any other way. <laughs> Which is really not how this character is meant to be played at all. 
Normally it's supposed to get enough consumables to make it work, but we're just not. <laughs> also, could you stop with this? Oh, this room needs to be over right now. <laughs> I had to use that as a glove just to stop that room from existing. I'm going to pop another one of these. Lawful. You gave me lawful. Wow. Okay. Okay. Glass eye. I don't, that's, I don't know how that's an item from the shop, but it's a damage up, so I'll definitely take it. Lawful is going to be... Oh, wait. No, that's out. Lawful. Lawful's going to be crazy. If you don't know what lawful does, lawful's nuts. Lawful makes it so that every floor has one item pool. And that's it. So, if that affects um, if that affects singularity, which it looks like it does so far, we could get like the angel pool and just get a bunch of angel items, or we could get like really bad pools like baby pool and stuff, or I could just end up dying because I am at very low HP. I kind of forgot that I couldn't push that bomb for a second there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! All of my wisps are gone. Yeah, I actually kind of needed that uh, black heart effect then because there was way too much stuff going on on screen right then. So if I even if I go in here, both of these are likely to be boss items, right? What the fuck? What? No, no. I am going to die to entering a, a boss. What? What? What is this? Don't tell me I die in this room, please. Tears up. Very nice. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, Mr. Dolly, I very much appreciate I actually kind of appreciate this too. Okay. Tears, tears have gotten to a pretty nuts point right now. I didn't mean to use all the stuff that I used. I probably could have um, sucked, sucked up Tropicamaya, whatever it's called, uh, with Quasar, but I used the wrong thing. This is good. So we'll just pop it here. Dark Bum is great. Yeah, so we could be in the baby pool. We could be in the devil pool here. We don't really know. This is this is a very tricky room. They're, they're like the worst possible angle. I can't hit them. Oh, I, I genuinely can't hit these guys. They're like the worst angle. This dude especially. I, I can't hit him! Fuck me. Like, I genuinely can't hit this dude. Like, what the fuck am I meant to do? Uh, I guess I could. I don't know what to do. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I managed to, like, I've got to go, like, there we go. Oh, that was tricky. That, that's where it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> right there. That's the pain in the ass example. Extra bomb. I'm just hoping for as many charges as possible to see what item pool we're in. Lawfuls. Yeah, so lawfuls could be so, so interesting for us here. Pop this. See if it was a cracked key. I'm just going to pop the cracked key there. Because the thing is, we don't actually care all that much about finding a, a red room. Because we can use it, but lawful's going to take over whatever item. Like, it, it really doesn't matter to us, so we don't need to find red rooms pretty much at all. We found it anyways. Another just awful room for us here. Okay. I did forget that I can go back into a room over this way and give Dark Bun my red heart. Because he does that now. He gobbles those up. I kind of forgot that he did. I forgot we had him. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh no, another just genuinely terrible room for us. These enemies are tough. Luckily, they are the chasers. Do you know what? I want an extra pip. You've got a full card in it. I'm just going to use the full card to get myself an extra pip. 
an extra charge. I'm reckoning we're in the baby pool and we're just going to get another another baby of some sort, but we'll see. Okay, blisters in so bad. Especially when they jump directly onto the spikes for you. That makes things significantly easier. Give us a soul heart, you big boy. Hey, Not only a soul heart, but a soul heart with a damage up attached. You absolute G. Oh, the hell? <laughs> I don't know what, I think I lost where I was then. Just kind of walked directly into its mouth. I was like, well, I'm small. I must be a snack. Feed him. Okay, so now we can go like that. We're in the devil pool. This is a very, very good item, by the way. <laughs> Especially if we can get some fly generation of any kind. As you can see, we are uh, summoning locusts as I speak. Because when we hit enemies, we have a chance to summon locusts now. So that's very good. Another tears up over there. Oh shit, there's, there's pins in here. With a black heart, thank you. I don't think there's any way for us to get that tears up, but I would very much like it. Grab. Grab. I'm actually going to pop this just to grab it. To get stats from Keeper's thingy. Keeper's sack. God damn, the game is just giving me the best, greatest runes right now. This this is a pretty interesting recovery so far. Um, We can turn some money into some real stuff here. Or it could blow up on literally the first hit. There's also that option. Thanks, game. But yeah, we should be getting a decent amount of flies coming in here. A decent amount of locusts, as you can see. Very, very good item. Like I said, if we get any fly generation, it becomes even better. So, like, a rotten baby is really good. If we can get Guppy, but obviously Guppy's unlikely now. I want to spawn one more item this floor, because it's Devil Deal Pool, so... It's extra useful to us. Time, gal? Um... Yeah, I guess Time Gal's pretty good. We're meant to be going Boss Rush Mega Satan. That's not happening, so I'm just going to take the damage. I probably should have taken the Polar Invincibility, but the damage, I feel, is a little more necessary. We can pop our Fool card here as well. So Time Gal's going to do her thing. Give us some extra stuff, which is actually incredibly useful, because she's going to give us, like, even if she just gives us a penny, that's an extra charge. Although, on these, on this floor, and on onwards, I'm fairly sure we can only get, um... We can only get additional items in the boss rooms. We can't get them anywhere else, which makes Lawful nowhere near as fun, but it's still whatever. It is what it is. She gave us a chest. They gave us breakfast. Breakfast is, I feel, one that we can wholeheartedly say we want to suck up. We got a pretty big damage up out of that as well. This is a, a room and a half. I, d I don't know the angle that I need to be at for this. There you go, I got it. So I only really need to kill the most annoying enemies first. But as you can see, we're, we're succeeding on time gal pretty much every time right now, which is really good. Right. And go through the secret room here to shortcut a little bit. Golden Penny here is would be very good for us if we were on a different floor, but as you can see, I popped that there and it did nothing. Just kind of showed that as an example. Okay, I think now that we've got this, this star of the bottomless pit with the locusts, we're in a much, much better position. I wouldn't say, like, fantastic. I really want to hit that heart there, but I just can't. I just... I can't fucking hit the hearts. Where am I meant to stand? Just just hit me, please. Just, just hit me. Hit me! I'm too small. Thank you. 
God damn it, that was annoying. I lost all my heckin' wisps for that. Ow, what did get hit there as well? Pop that. We got Gimpy and Inner Demons. Nice. Gimpy's good, definitely. Yeah, let's go. We got another world card to play with here. This is this has turned out to be pretty interesting as a run. As runs go, we've got something intriguing. I don't think we're gonna survive. Our health is exceedingly low. But we shall try. Nice. The more red hearts, the merrier for this fella. The more red hearts, the merrier, as I said. That is a blue spider. Not quite what I needed, but I respect the effort. Thank you. Did you just... Time, gal. Did you just spawn as my reward a troll bomb? Doesn't feel very rewarding, I'll be honest. You know what I've realised in recording this episode? I am extremely hungry. <laughs> I didn't have much lunch, and yeah, it's 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 showing. Right. Can I actually find where the secret room is? Nope. Is it here? There you go. Really bad at getting those right. Ooh, this is one of my secret rooms. Hello. Um. Judgment. I'm going to actually play the Judgment here. Just because I can Quasar the item. Oh, for God's sake. Doesn't matter. It blew itself up. Whatever. <laughs> you do what you want, game. Don't let me have any fun. It's none of your concern, is it? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's a big room. I was like, where the hell's my thing? Uh, I'm going to keep my devil card for... Um, oh, this is... This is hell. Just, yeah, just get myself hit. Makes things way easier for us. Okay, no, it didn't. It complicated things vastly. Okay, we've got an evil twin now. God damn, that was annoying. Yeah, we've got this devil card here. I'm going to use that for the boss fight. This could be an annoying room. We did get a trink uh, thingy off of one of these guys. Oh, lordy, lordy. I don't even know what this does. Mark of Envy turns all your heart containers into burn hearts and fills them with rotten hearts. I don't even know what that would do. I don't think that would work for us, would it? And one heart container while held works with the keeper too. Yes, please. Okay. Devil card going in. Oh shit. I can't I can't hit these dudes <laughs> until he pops up. There you go. Right, at least we can't miss now. <laughs> I'm fairly sure he can't hit us because we're too small as well. Tells sure you all of the shots will go over our head, but we'll see. And we'll pop. And pop. Fortunately both boss items. I am gonna do that and grab all of these. <laughs> Bit risky because I could have taken the HP, but I'm I'm kind of for one using the the orbitals as protection and just gambling that I get good enough items to make make it worth the loss in HP to make me like not lose HP later on sort of thing. Nice. Now I don't. And now I'm pretty sure Singularity just doesn't like straight up just doesn't spawn. Uh, items anymore at all, no matter where we use it. If I remember correctly. Them, them uh, laser eyes there were like something I did not want to be seeing. That was very scary. I'm pretty much just looking out for red hearts for my uh, dark bum. Other than that, I don't really care what, what happens. Another one here, dude. Yeah. Like, even if I, yeah, you Singularity there, nothing happens. That pushed that around way too much. Oh, that hit me? Okay.
We're probably going to lose our wisps here, but is what it is. That, that fucking leech screwed me so hard then. Made me turn around. So health isn't looking great. Thanks for the soul heart. We're probably not going to be able to buy any of the items on offer here. I mean, Laz Rags. Laz Rags would help. And then... Hmm. I think the play here is to grab Laz Rags, go and die, and then come and get the other stuff in here. Oh, I do have to, like, kind of finish this room, though, first. To make sure I don't, like, die at the worst possible time. No, grab that. I should just bomb myself, actually. It's going to be way easier. Right, bomb myself. Respawn we'll as Lazarus. Then grab this. What? Excuse me? What is this? What are these little hearts doing here? What is this? Look at this! There are three hearts. Right here, game. Right here. What are these? What are these? You little shit. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. As frustrating as that is, I must have resized this whole window now. I don't know why I did this zoom in. It was funny at the time, but now I have to resize the whole thing. And you guys got to watch me resize it like an absolute goober. All fun and games until you have to resize the bloody window back to the normal size. God damn it. There you go. God damn. That was frustrating. Anyways, that was an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.